so welcome uh, to the Disco K News, everybody. And uh, this is our, our Saturday edition, which we don't usually do a Saturday show. But uh, today I wanted to do a little special show because we have a special guest here. And uh, he's talking. Uh, his name is Jebediah, and he's from uh, Jebediah Ezekiel. And he's from the Ezekiel Farm, just out of Ackerville. What is and uh, they are Amish Farmstead. And uh, I don't know if you guys ever see the black chariots going up and down the road, or I you know uh, there was a big funeral a while back, and you can always tell when the Amish have a funeral because you can hear them coming, you know. So uh, I just wanted to talk to Jebediah here and uh, see how they're handling this whole coronavirus thing. So Jebediah, are you there? Uh, we're on the air, Jebediah. Are you are you with us? Jebediah, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, can you uh, look at the, uh, there, there should be like a device in front of you with a screen on it. Do you see me? Jebediah, uh, are you with yeah. us? Okay. Yeah. All yeah. Right. Oh, hi. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I think this is on. Yeah, I don't know what's going on though, but I never used uh, anything past the uh, the uh, modern pen, so I don't know how to use a machine like this. But um, so okay. How was your ride this morning? Did you have a good trip? Well, I'm just at my uh, my regular farm, I, but I uh, I did go downtown this morning. Yeah, and uh, on the way, my horse bucked me off. And then one of these uh, these uh, very large uh, vehicles came at me and uh, almost hit me. So, but you know, it was fine. It was. Oh, sorry to hear that. Uh, I wanted to ask you a few questions about the lockdown. I'm having a hard time. I only see like half your face. Maybe you could back up a little bit so the audience can see you. And. Uh, yeah, just back a little bit there, Jebediah, and uh, then we can. Uh, yeah, okay. lean away from the machine. All right. Oh. And yeah. uh, we wanted to talk to you about the uh, the coronavirus lockdown and how the Amish community is handling it. Oh, uh, uh, yes. I heard about the chicken pox. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Not no, good. Coronavirus. This is a different... It's a it's a big problem. The whole world is dealing with it right now. And you ha you haven't heard of that? It hasn't got to you yet. But what was that? You, you guys at, chicken at, pox? At your... No, the chicken yeah, pox. I, I heard the chicken pox. Yeah, we uh we got a letter from uh, Philadelphia about it, and uh, you know it's been good really because uh, my sister Hannah she makes all the furniture. Okay, and uh, she has really um I mean. It's 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 not that great, but you know. So she has not been having to do uh, too much work because uh, I mean, there's not much uh, many people, you know, trying to buy the furniture. Um, so you know, that's good. But then we, uh, um, but you know, I, I I will say I'm glad the price of milk is only eleven dollars per hundred pounds. Um, you know, if it wasn't for that, we uh, it, it would be a rough time because we wouldn't be able to have uh, wicks for our candles and. Without the candles, you know, it's it's hard to see at night. It really is. So you know, that was uh, um, yeah, that that was about it. But uh, yeah, it hasn't uh, hit our uh, village yet, though. No, no chicken pox. But uh, yeah. Oh well, your sister Hannah. Now she's the one I always see cutting the trees down in the woods, right? Um. Well, yeah, and uh, she cuts down the trees. I cut down the trees. You know, it's it's whoever is uh. Whoever's up first, you know. So, so you don't yeah. make her. You you make her carry those trees too. Yeah, yeah. She's she's like oxen. So, oh. yeah. Well, okay, uh, but she's doing all right. Nobody seems to be sick or cough on your farm or anything like that. No, no, not not that I can remember. No, no, no. Yeah, I did. Uh, yeah. So, I not no. I cannot remember a cough for a while, but. Uh, yeah. Okay. So yeah, well, I, I, I suppose if you guys, uh, so have you heard? Have you heard about social distancing? Social, social what? 
Well, it, it means like you're supposed to stay away from other people. Um, well, the, uh, the Ezekiel family farm has been doing that since uh, 1753. Oh, I, I forgot you're Amish. Yeah, so you already yeah. are. Yeah, you guys have been social distancing for hundreds of years. I, I yeah. should have really thought of that. What's, but, this, uh, what's, what's the, uh, the, the, you said uh, uh, lock, locking something? Lock? Lockdown or something? Lockdown? Well, lockdown? Lockdown yeah. what? Yeah, lockdown. so the president, the president uh, and the governors have, have ordered everybody to stay in their houses. That's probably why you're not selling any furniture. And it's probably oh. why your sister isn't cutting down any trees because... Right, nobody... because the chicken pox, yeah. Uh, well, it's, it's kind of like that, but the chicken pox was about 50 years ago. But that's, I suppose, that's just coming around by you now. So what's going on today, then? Oh, it is. Okay, well. No, 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 no. What, 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 what's, what's going on today? Well, it's called the coronavirus, and it's uh, get a bad cough, and 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 uh, I mean, I don't want to scare you. You might have to end up. If you got this, you'd end up in the hospital, and I don't know if you guys believe in those. Holy cats! Oh, jeez! Yeah. Are you kidding me now? Well, it's probably be better that you're just staying home. Oh, but you've geez, been, like, like, Well, like you've been doing for a couple hundred years. So, okay. uh, anyhow, uh, kind of lost my tra train of thought here. But, uh, you know, I so my, they call me the Disco King. And uh, what I do is I'm like a music maker, and I have these big dance parties all the time. And... Uh, I don't know if you guys dance or listen to music at all, but I kind of like to know uh, if you do listen to music, what kind of music do Amish listen to? Yeah, we uh, we we don't play instruments that are uh, you know not listed in the good book. So you know we do have our uh, our hymns at daily church, you know, and um, but they're all in German. Uh, one day I uh, I did hear a song um, I liked. But uh, it, it was not from the farm, so I mean, I, I probably shouldn't repeat it. It's probably like a satanic ritual or something. But yeah, it was good though. I liked it. it sounded well, nice. just give me a little bit. Maybe I can figure it out. I, I'm a DJ, so I I know lots of songs. Okay, it was. Uh, oh Lord, help me. It. Uh, yeah, I. It. It went something or other. You know, it was. Uh, well, I got a sister named Susanna, Susanna okay, and uh, the song is something like that. It's uh, it goes uh, uh, Susanna, uh, don't you shed a tear for my, I come from Pennsylvania with corn or or something like that. Yeah. Oh, so. is it Oh Susanna? Oh, well, it might be. Yeah. As I said before, you know, like I say, I, I don't, I don't know the name of it, but you know, so yeah, yeah, I know, uh, but yeah, so it might be that. So I don't. Know. I, that's not really a new song. That's that song's probably a hundred years old, but to you, that's oh. new. Huh? Is well, that new to you? Well, you know, I, 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 I probably should keep my my voice, but uh, well, I did hear it once. Yeah, it uh, I probably pretty recently, last two years or so. But, you know, it probably is not the best that I let my ears listen to that. But Well, I have to get you over here to one of my discos. Do you know what a disco is? Disco. These big disco parties. No. It's kind of like a barn dance, but it's, we have more lights. Oh. Yeah, like when you go through your courtship rituals. Okay. You get to meet a female with just a little bit smaller beard than you oh right is that what you yeah, guys yeah okay yeah so anyhow uh i'm really you know i'm glad you got on this show here and uh glad to see that the amish community is safe and uh since you've already been locked down for a couple hundred years there really is nothing changing in your world and i'm so, glad you're able to uh I'm glad you sold enough furniture to get enough wicks for your candles, and uh, you guys will have some good light at night in uh, case you want to do one of those barn dances. But I got a tip for you. Um, 
I don't know if you've heard of a disco ball, but like maybe you could take about six or seven horseshoes and polish them up real nice and then light one of those candles and then you could hang them on a, a piece of baler twine and spin them and the candle light would flicker off of those. It'd be just like a disco ball for your barn dance and, and it might make it easier to get one of those uh, those uh, females that you're looking at. Uh, I don't. I don't know about. I don't know about that. You know, like but Susanna, or or Hannah, or whatever her name was. Uh, those are my sisters, but yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, our church forbids marrying anything that's uh that's closer than half siblings. So. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well. Yeah. So um. So wait. I I I gotta get this straight. So the the chicken pox is is locking people in their homes then. Uh you well. Kind of like that, yeah. Kind of like that. So, oh, geez, I, think you guys, I, I think you guys will be safe. Um, but if somebody does show up to buy a, a, a door or a, a handmade table or something like that, then just uh, have them lay the money, you know, on, a, on one of your desks and then just stay about six feet away. You should be all right. Um, as long as they don't cough on you. Um, I think you guys will be safe. So uh, okay. I just wanted to say uh, thanks a lot for talking to the Disco King News today and have a nice day. Yeah, we uh, will pray for you people out there in the, uh, the world. And uh, yeah, I guess uh, stay safe at that chicken pox, you know, so. Okay, yeah. well, it's been great talking to you, Jebediah. Yeah. Uh, okay, stay. how do I get rid of this uh, machine then? Don't you worry, we'll we'll have somebody turn that off for you. Okay. Okay. All right. Gotcha. All right. Okay. Have a safe trip on your horse. Okay.